Hey everyone, this is Derek here, and in this video, I'm going to show how to easily install any Android app on Tencent's Gaming Buddy, the official emulator for PUBG Mobile. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, if you wanted to install, for example, a keyboard to enable that switch to first person perspective, you could use it for that. Or if you wanted to install the Chinese version or the TIMI version of the game, you could also do that. So I'm going to show you with Tencent's Gaming Buddy, we have just launched the program. That's all I've done so far. So you can see play and upgrade. I do have the Chinese version on here already, but for the sake of this video, so we don't have to wait for a download for a number of minutes on my slow Wi-Fi, we're just going to download Hacker's Keyboard because it's a much smaller app. So the first step is to click play on PUBG Mobile. So everyone should have PUBG Mobile installed when they install the Gaming Buddy and you can see here that we are not going into full screen. We don't want to do that because we want to have access to these buttons over here on the right side of the screen. So I'm just going to go ahead and let it start. I think you could already get out of the program, but I also don't want the emulator to accidentally crash and I'm screen recording at the same time. So I don't want to overload this laptop. So I figure let's just wait a couple seconds and I'll show you exactly how to do this and how easy it is because it's honestly very straightforward, but if you don't know how to, like a lot of things in life, it's straightforward, but if you don't know how to do it, then it's gonna be really difficult. So definitely follow along and in no time you'll be able to play whatever app you want to on this emulator. So you can see that we have the emulator loaded. What we're gonna do is we're going to click on exit twice and when you do that, you should go back to this screen. Now, if you only have PUBG Mobile installed, you're only going to see this icon. You're not going to see the Chinese icon, but you'll still see this icon. And this is actually your desktop. So it's pretty cool. If you swipe, uh, swipe down here like that, you can see that I've already downloaded some APKs. I'm going to show you how, but you can see that you can do that. So we're actually on an emulated Android desktop. So the first step is to push F nine so f as in frank or foxtrot and then nine on the keyboard and what that does is it enables a higher level of access so it's kind of like an administrator versus a user so i don't want to get too complicated with it but basically it lets you mess with settings and access features that you can't normally access so normally this is how the browser or the uh, emulator looks looks like this and you'll just see PUBG mobile unless you have something else installed you push this and you'll get all these other cool icons so what we want to do now is click on the, the browser so this is just your standard internet browser so i'm going to go ahead and say no thanks it's way too big it's hard to see but we don't care about that we're going to go and say uh, type hackers keyboard APK. So for you, you could type uh, Chinese version PUBG mobile APK or TIMI APK. It's really whatever you want. But what we're going to do is we're going to find APK pure. This is a safe site to download this from. There are a number of sites that have APKs. They're just Android uh, packages for install. Basically, they're like a, uh, a zip or a a DMG for a Mac or an EXE for Windows. They're just executable things. Um, I don't know if it, what. So, anyways, here we go. We're on APK Pure. Like I said, you could use this site. You could search for it right here for the app you want to install, or you could use another site. Doesn't really matter. We're going to go ahead and click download. And now that it's downloading, you'll actually see it pop up up here. So once it starts downloading, you'll see it over here. And let's see if we can find out if it has downloaded already or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of all those guys. I'll click this link again, just so I can definitely show you how to do this. So we'll click here, starting download, there you go. And now you can see that it has um, completed. I think it just says 12, it says 10.02, it just says the current time. But anyways, it has completed. So now what we wanna do, once you've downloaded your APK is click exit, click it again. You'll be back on this screen now and then you want to go to downloads. So now you can see here is the APK for hackers keyboard. All we have to do is click on it 
and it's going to go ahead. It says, do you want to install this application? And again, you could replace Hacker's Keyboard with the TIMI version of the game or the Lightspeed Chinese version, whatever you want. Uh, it could even be another app, obviously. Uh, it could be some you know, timer app for all I know or calendar app. I mean, it's any Android app you want to install. So we're going to go ahead and click install there. It's already installed very quickly. Awesome. And then we'll go ahead and click open and you can see this is the app. So just like that, that's how you can run any application on Tencent's Gaming Buddy. And if you, uh, if you can think of another use for this, definitely leave it in the comments down below because that will help other people. Like I said, the only uses I can find so far, the only practical ones for me, are the different versions of PUBG Mobile if you want to run that. I suppose you could also run like Rules of Survival if you did all the keybinds over. It, you're going to have to do keybinds regardless of what app you're running unless you're using like a mouse like this, you know, for some simple app like this keyboard. But for most apps, you're going to actually have to keybind all the presses and stuff very similar to how you do it on PUBG Mobile, which is right, uh, I'm gonna say I forget where it is, but obviously we don't have the app in, the app uh, loaded right now, so you can't see it, but it has all those different key binds to uh, bind different keys on the keyboard to different functions or button pushes in the game. So you'll have to set that up, but other than that, there you have it. You can run whatever you want to. So like I was saying, if you can think of another use, definitely leave it in the comments down below to help other people out. And if this video helped you out, definitely give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends because I really appreciate it and it really helps the channel grow. And consider subscribing if you haven't already for tons more PUBG Mobile content, including gameplay, tips and tricks, and a whole lot more coming soon. My name's Derek G, and I hope to see you on the battlefield soon. Or in my Discord, which I'll also leave a link to down below.